Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to open fort, which essentially means um, guarantee a 5 loss, which oftentimes means we have to sell everything on our board and basically not play stage 2. Um, it's cringe, but I think we're TFT players, we'll do anything for LPN here, and as long as the number goes up, who cares about morals? Anyways, so why? Why do we want to do it, right? simple because right econ is really important in this set especially when you're playing for higher cost carries like four costs five costs so if you're going for like the re sentinel the caitlin as real right we need a lot of gold to just build up early in mid game so then when when four one or four two comes around we'll have enough gold say like 30 plus at least to roll for like not only the headliner that we want like the back line but also like two star four cost frontline and three costs a lot of times right so we need a lot of money to like stabilize stage four um another reason is that you get access to better items so like right now the the best items for the meta cops are red buff right red buff's really good for the 80 carries um blue buffs good for Azrael, good for ari um can be used on kali and even caitlin but yeah right it's just good for the main carries right now um infinity edge which is ie which is good for the 80 carries right um um like uh as real caitlin and it can even be used on a kali if we have to right but i would say red buff and blue buff are the top priority items but another reason and this is also in the category of items is uh spat so spat spatula right now is like really really broken because true damage is so good and you can basically guarantee a sword throughout the game right so if you're lose streaking stage two your first pick and the spat comes your way we're taking it and then we're just gonna play true damage like kate asriel even zed or ari right it's just it bypasses the sentinel so sentinels are really popular even outside of sentinel ari so it bypasses a lot of resistances and you just one shot everyone um and if you can right um, you go 9 and then put the emblem on Jin. But the goal when you're playing AD a lot of times is to stabilize off 4 costs and go 9 for the 5 costs like Jin, Kiana, Alawi, um, Yorick, anyways, right? Um, so another good benefit of loose streaking, aka open forwarding, is uh, you grief the hard seal player, they get no stacks if you just have nothing on your board. It literally just griefs around. Um, other open forders um also like people who have items like uh gambler's blade the the the, the gold one the the gold ap one i forgot the name whatever gold rod whatever um yeah stuff like that like even like um gold collector right um oh also if you have two people open forwarding so say you have two people with nothing on their board and they fight each other. Whoever travels to the other person's board wins the fight and loses the lose streak. So I'm just going to say this for the past like three or four days. I've had like 50 instances total. Okay, not 50, like 30. And I've lost to 50-50 like 29 times. <laughs> it was driving me insane, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, so you know the why. Now let's talk about when do you lose streak or open for it right all right so your components are terrible right you can't make an item complete item that that is of anything meaningful right like they're, they're not like if it's not a strong item for your current board and it's good late games it'll be like Right, right, there's no point in slamming it. Right? So if you have something like Sword Cloak Tier, if you don't have like 2-star Corky, 2-star Kasante, I I'm not slamming anything because Shoujin is not a bad, not a good item compared to like blue buff and then the sword could be like IE, right? And same, the same concept with like, if you have like say a bow, glove, cloak or whatever, right? A lot of people will be tempted to make Last Whisper, but that's potentially red buff, um, uh, IE and then even shroud right so like these components are really important for the carries because carries kind of really want best in slot this patch so right that that means we can't just slam anything we want especially if we can't guarantee a win streak because number two not every opener is good so like a Cassante with Sunfire with like a quirky two Cassante headliner 
Sunfire, you're, you're most likely not beating that if you don't have it yourself, right? So if you, you can't, if you're not strong enough to guarantee a win streak against that, just what happened is you'll lose to like people who are really strong, and then you'll win against the open forwarders. So then you'll be win loss, win loss, and we'll be like 12 gold at Krugs with like just, just crying out here. And then, right, when we think of the game plan as a 4 1 4 2 level 8 race, we're losing it really badly, right? So, another reason you should lose streak is that that's when you have like um, a really good augment for lose streaking, like uh, what doesn't kill you, stim pack, vampirism, stationary support, help is on the way. Um, other scaling ones, I would say, are even like cybernetic bulk, especially cybernetic bulk 3. Like, it's a really good scaling augment, but, and you're not gonna get much value out of it, out of it early game, right? You shouldn't if you're loose streaking, but it's it's one of those augments that's like really good late game. So then, yeah, you're basically ignoring their early game. So you're pushing for like the spike later on. So it's actually not bad. Yeah, so now we'll talk about tips and these should be pretty helpful. Um, I avoid dummy aug augments if I'm playing open fort, like, um, any stationary support, um, um, uh, the, 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 the scapegoat, right? Because in challenger, there's like two to three open forters. It's so cringe. But so if you want to like even have a chance of winning the 50, 50 against them, um, you can't have a dummy. Cause if you have a dummy, you win the fight. So yeah. You don't want to win when you're loose streaking. Um, you want to be Krugs, right? So I wouldn't agree too much gold because um, I wouldn't put everything on the chance that two seven hand gives me something good, right? Like the, the Krug round gives me something good to beat it. Um, so usually with if you level to five, you'll beat it anyway. So sometimes you might just pre-level the round before Krugs to five because then you get higher odds for two star headliners because you really want to start stabilizing stage three, right? I really want to get in that mindset. It doesn't mean you have to win stage three or win streak, but you don't want to be 25 HP at 4-1. All right, so we have to take something. So, um, right, if you don't have something naturally, you level to six at 3-2 to roll for a two to three cost. Um, that's just like 10 to 15 gold, right? Say say you have like a red buff, Senna is fine, Aphelia is fine, any artillery unit is fine, right? But say you have like a two-star Corky already somehow, it's gonna be hard when you're open forwarding. Say you have backline but not frontline, you want like a Garen or like a Pantheon or like whatever. Like if we luck out, we get like a Moo Moo, but unlikely, right? <clears throat> More tips. You don't have to win straight three, like I said, just, yeah, you don't want to be on the verge of death when we're 4-1. Just like, oh, when you hit, and then some dude has like 900,000 heart steel and just, you know, mauls you to death. Um, right, so, uh, when you're at 4-1, right, roll for the meta carries if you're playing for that, like, Caitlyn has real Ari Blitz. I mean, Kali, sometimes, but mainly if you're playing true damage, the KDA Kali, I don't think it's gonna bail you out unless you literally hit a first roll, you have a KDA board and then you use it to go 9 because KDA Kali gets out scaled. Um, but yeah, Zed is also fine if you hit it early and then you have a lot of goals, your board's not bad, and then you just streak stage 4 into level 9. Um, but the issue is, right, like because we're on the verge of death, sometimes we want to find, we want to invest a bit more gold to find a lot of frontliners, like Blitz and Thresh, they're so contested in this meta. Um, and we don't want to really pr pr play first or eighth, even though it's more fun. Um, so like, I guess it's better to just like invest a bit more gold, which is why, like, if you're going to invest that much gold, might as well look for like the good ones, like Caitlyn Ezreal. And if you're playing like Ari, Ari or Blitz, right? Uh, yeah. So those are the tips. I mean, that's, that's like the PowerPoint for this. I'm going to show you like a visual representation of like, Oh, the, it's going to be quick. It's like the augments we want and the items we want. Uh, right. Like I said, um, tier list for augments, S tier I would say is like, what doesn't kill you? Paging study vampires. Cause there's no, like if you can guarantee the five loss that you get so much value out of this. Same with stim pack, right? All of these, you get a lot of benefit from just losing. Um, clear mind is okay. I mean, it's, it's good for helping you get to eight, but, um, 
it might I mean it's fine it, it's fine it's just not as good as these three for tier twos um these i was contemplating on having these in the s tier because they're really good because right um they it, it fits efficiently with our game plan so we lose early game and then we spike or save hp come stage three right and these these come early stage three so um I'd say they're like high A plus tier. They're just good. They're just really good augments in general. Doesn't matter what you do, right? Because you get so much value out of silver for this one. Um, blood money is, I mean, self explanatory. You get gold um, whenever you lose. It's just good, right, for what we're doing. But I don't think it's as good as Stimpak, right? Stimpak, four components is no joke. Um, metabolic, the, the two metabolics, right? Metabolic in theory is good, but it cuts off like one of the reasons why we want to um, lose streak in the first place, right? Early carousel access to the red buff, blue buff, but most importantly, spat potential, right? So if you're healing and there's like 7,000 open forders in your lobby, they're going to get access first and you're not going to be first pick, right? So it's good for lose streak in general, but you're cutting off one of the reasons why we want to lose streak in the first place. Rich get richer, self-explanatory, you get a lot of gold, it's it's fine, but it's just not as good as these, right? Like you get a lot of gold. Um, but for the purposes of just like loose streaking, I think what doesn't kill you is a lot better to risk get richer. But it's fine, right? You just build the econ, try to get 60 interest ASAP, 70 interest, right? Any pumping up is fine, but it doesn't offer as much value as these. It's just fine scaling wise, right? Consistency. If you're in an elo where people don't lose streak or open fort a lot, this is goaded. But the issue is, if you have two other people open forting, you can't necessarily guarantee you get a 5 loss because of the 50-50 uh, open fort mechanic. So, if you could guarantee a loss streak, this is like a, a, maybe even S, but this is, right, it's just inconsistent, right? Uh, Pandora's pretty good because then you can roll for like one of the giga good um um uh, radiant items like a red buff blue buff pretty sure radiant ie is still fine um if you're playing if you're like a yone player or riven player like even like radiant like um azure knight radiant titans like fine cybernetic bulk right it's just investing in our late game um it's just a one of the best scaling augments and you can get it at 2-1 so like right we won't get immediate effective value for loose streaking but we're just investing our late game right and tiniest titan uh right we're we're not probably with this we're not gonna get first carousel pick um and then you're just down to prismatic so i think it's like it's like takeable but um not the best all right so that's augments now we go on to Items. All right, so there's not that much here. The items we really want, by far, well, not by far, but like uh, ahead by quite a bit, it's tree damage, right? So tree damage bad. Anytime we get a spat, I'm taking it. Um, unless I have perfect Ari items or whatever. Um, red buff, one of the best utility items. Can go on basically any carry. It's just a really good item in general. Blue buff, good on Ari and good on... Um, as real so you're ne not necessarily like tunneled into a certain line but usually the leans more Ari. um this could be used usable on um akali and semi-usable on kate um ie right um if you're playing flex ad which just means kate <clears throat> and as real a lot of times is good even shroud like these i'm putting this tier list in the lens of like two like stage two carousel where the items you're trying to go for immediately right to guarantee a good good items um i would say these four but mainly these three are what you're looking for even shroud is just necessary in this sentinel meta because right you don't want to make last whisper right i'm just gonna jump to last whisper you don't want to make last whisper because bow could be red buffs glove could be affinity edge so even though you do want armor shred the components are way more valuable for the actual good items so to compensate for that, you make even shroud because you need shred, right? So that kills defensive components. And then in the sentinel meta, even shroud is just like, like pen is just necessary. 
And if you're like a Yone Riven player, right? You're loose streaking early game, you're, you're sacking. We're not playing the game, we're watching Netflix. If you're a Yone Riven player, these items are fine to go for, right? Um, Riven typically wants Quicksilver, but it's not something you add in, in like you go for immediately. It's usually like maybe like these, right? They're, they're usable on Yone and Riven. Um, Edge of Knight's fine, but if you're going for Edge of Knight, I think it's more Yone oriented because Riven really wants Quicksilver, right? And even stuff like Hodge and then IE, right? Like this, this is like fine. Um, yeah. But th yeah, this, this tier list is items you're going for immediately or off carousel for priority. So that would go for these if you're trying to play around four costs, right? So I, I showed you guys, right, the tips, the items, the augments. Now I'm going to show you a real, real game example. So I played this game earlier. Um, I had some frustrating games. I'm, I'm not going to lie. But that's TFT. So um, right, the game's starting out. I don't have anything yet. I I am making myself lose streak because we got to get got to farm the tubers. So um, I think it is forcible, but obviously there are situations, right? If you have a two star Corgi and two star Cassante, you probably don't want to lose streak and you have a decent item. You can slide. like you definitely don't want to lose streak. But uh, no matter what this game, I'm forcing it. Uh, so or open for it, right? I'm, I'm straight up open for it, right? Um, you always hold Cassante because it's a good unit and right. I have Yone here, so I really want hard steel. Um, yeah, I really want hard steel, but am I even going to play it? I, I don't remember. Am I even going to play it? Because I'm trying to open for it, right? Okay. So wait, wait, wait I'm, I'm going to go back real quick. So I open up the anvil here because I got a tier in a cloak and I want some direction with what I'm trying to go for late game. Right. So I, I was really, really just debating, just taking Hodge and justice here and just forcing Yone. But I'm open forwarding, right? And these items don't look very good. The other components don't look very good for Yone. So I just take Nashers because I have a half a tier, right? And it's lucky I got a rod here. I should I should have waited until I see what my final component was, but I got a rod here, so I'm definitely angling Ari here, right? I immediately see, see Stimpak, so I just gonna take it. And then, well, what are we doing here? All right, so. I'm greeting, I'm making time here, right? And I want the heart steel potential. But before I commit to this, I'm scouting the lobby to see if people, anyone's selling all their units. Because even if if even one person selling all their units, I'm just gonna I'm just, I'm just gonna try 50-50, right? Because they're they're potentially in my pool. So, right, if I see someone selling everything, I'm just I'm watching like a madman. So if I saw him sell everything, he's potentially in my pool. Alright, I'm matching him. Screw it, you know. Welcome to TFT in 2024. Happy New Year, guys, by the way. I mean, I'm essentially just like, I can't make 20 here. I literally just, I'm not even playing the game right now because, well, <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it, that's open forwarding, right? Open forwarding is just, you just, <laughs> you're not putting up a fight at all. So, okay. Uh, I have a Nashers, which is one of Ari's good items, right? I'm looking for a tier off carousel. Right, because it's really guaranteed a blue buff. Um, yeah, and then once I have that, it's it, once I have that, the the bait here is um, going for sword off carousel. If I don't get um, gunblade, to immediately get three item Ari, I'm recognizing that my components are heavily leaning towards like just the backline Ari. Right now, I need some tank items to compensate. So here's what I'm doing here, like, uh, like. Oh wait, oh wait, am I gonna buy units to pretend I'm playing a board? Because a lot of players in Challenger, right, when we're when they're doing this, each turn they buy units and put units out as if we all don't know that we're just gonna sell them all at the end, right before the turn starts. Like I'm not like in this game, I'm not even bothering to do that because like like this, I got tired of doing that. Like no one's falling for it. Not a single person on, in this universe is falling for it. All right, um. Continue my lose streak, right? Not playing the game, building econ. Now I buy the heart steel units just in case I want to play heart steel, but realistically, 
am I? I'd rather have the five loss potential, right? And every loss I take is takes me closer to Stimpak, anyways. Carousel, right? Oh, here there's no tier, and I'm not even though I could take Gunblade, I'm just gonna play for the um. I ended up taking Spat, so I could deny a Spat, and I could go for the uh, Tactician's Crown potential. It didn't end up working out, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Right, like, I, I can do Tactician's Crown. Worst case scenario, if I get KDA Ari, I can make KDA Spat, get 5 KDA in, or something like that. Um, anyways. So, I sell all my units. I am not playing the game. No one's playing the game here. This is TFT in its finest form, right? Um, but I'm not gonna play true damage with these items. It's just, it's just too awkward. I mean, I could play true damage Ari. Maybe I should have considered it, but it's it's, it's a little weird. Um, oh, did I win the 50-50 here? Oh no no, oh no, no it's just uh okay. Never mind. Right, skip. Skip. Okay, so I didn't face against the open forder, right? Um, I just face against people with actual boards. So I'm 70 HP. Um, if I didn't have like this Echo and this Cassante in my shop, right? If I didn't have this, I, I would have just pre leveled for um, for level five to, in, to get better odds for a two cost headliner. But since I have Echo Consante, I'm confident I can put in anything with this front line and just win the next fight at level 4, right? That's the only reason I didn't pre-level. But if you don't have this, I would 100% pre-level here for 5 to get uh, better odds and so I don't lose to Krugs randomly. Oh, I get, uh, I get Rapid Fire Felios here. Um, let me just show you, show uh, me picking it up. Yep, Felios. Maybe I could get one hard steal cash out is my thought process as I'm approaching stage three and then go for the four one spike. These are probably the worst items on Aphelios anyone has ever conceived, but um, you know, that's TFT. Sometimes got to make do with what you got, right? Uh, uh, I try, I leave um three gold. Like, so I say I have 47 gold so that if I get a gold orb, Minimum I could get is three, so that can make fifty. Um, I have this. Uh, keep this more because you know, Sentinel, Triangle angle Sentinel Ari. That's what's up. Level up here for four Sentinel, and chill. Oh, it's another thing. So okay, actually, I want I want to slam Sunfire right. Out of these components, I want to slam Sunfire because. This tier becomes blue, blue buff, right? Uh, and I don't want to make even shot because I'm playing a, a um, I'm playing um, art, right? And I don't want to make stone plate because it's one of the worst scaling items. And I get enough resistances with um, uh, sentinels, anyways. But again, I want to start minimizing losses, so I'm not gonna have four items on the bench for fun. So I'm gonna strategically make something i'm not gonna make immediately because i'm trying to greet the sixth loss but the best loss i could ever have so I, i'm hovering the sunfire and this is intuition i slam it at a time that i think will give me a good loss and i and i slam it now there's no math there's no math to this i i'm i don't know i just i just kind of just figure it out so um right i'm gonna slam it immediately because i might win the fight but i slam it 10 seconds in and look, guarantees me a one unit loss. Um, yeah, that's what's up. And then I'm closer to Simpack. Augment wise, what am I taking here? Um, uh, so know your enemy's really good because everyone's playing Sentinels. Even if I don't have that many traits, practically like six out of eight people in the lobby play Sentinels or something, right? So know your enemy's always always good. Um, I just take that, right? Because I want to start taking combat. Wait, I didn't take it. Oh, no. I took uplink. I took uplink because I'm getting stim pack. So, I thought this is a better choice because, um, I'm getting so many components. I'm going to get uplink value on basically everyone. And since I'm playing Sentinels, the HP gain is actually pretty important. And the meta gain obviously helps them cast more. So, I felt like this, this was mainly because I had stim pack. Because I'm going to get so many components, right? So, um right i'm not rolling here even though maybe i should roll a little no 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 
So, like, the only pair I have is Cassante. There's no way I'm rolling. Like, I just level up, throw in. Like, I could go for Heart Steel here. Like, roll for Heart Steel, but I don't, I don't even care that much. All right, I'm just trying to get to Ari and Blitz, right? But I'm just, I'm just beelining for Ari and Blitz. A lot of people might just send like 20 gold for heart seal here but you have to think that's like mathematically a worse trade-off because you you're you're trying to get gold anyways so the likelihood you get yone or um set at level six 25 percent odds not worth it not worth it at all imo so i lose i lose but God, wait this is a good loss right oh no i win this fight because yone without like Oh yeah, I I, I I win this fight. So um starting to save HP, right? Now I have I found a set in my next shop, so I throw in hard steel. I go for I will in this case, right, I have to go for a four two cash out. So that means I have to play this four I have to play hard steel at four one, which is not desirable, but hey, I'm greedy. So carousel yeah, I lose this fight. Carousel I want um I want to spat and here okay so the reason i take blitz even though i really want blue buff is because i'm really greedy and i'm denying blitz um and okay i thought like i'm i'm running the risk that i get a tier either from stem pack or the neutral so i need to start building into tank items right because i don't i have sunfire but that's not really a tank item cloak is like whatever right i really want some hp so i'm taking blitz and I'm investing my future even though I probably should just take blue buff. Because what if I take stim pack and I get like extra tears, right? Like it's it's gonna be redemption, but what else after that? I mean Shiv, I guess, but you know. It could be like Protector's Vow and and Adapted Helm, whatever, but I, I just I gambled on it, right? So I'm 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 not win streaking anyway, so I'm just like uh playing for the late game here. I wish I had spat though, not gonna lie. Keep losing, keep losing, right? Nothing. I don't level up because um, I'm just trying to like, I don't even care, right? Like, I don't have an effective unit to throw in that does anything. So I'm just going to keep losing and then um, go for the 4 1 spike. So I take a bad loss, proc stim pack. I did not get a single tier, um, but I make crown guard because I want to kill one of these cloak, these chains. I could have made bramble, but. Right, like kill. I, 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 I just want to focus on uh, tank items now because I have enough. I just need a tier to complete our items. Two, crown guard. And I mean, I could just spread the items out around a little bit, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna chill for now. Take another loss. Ow. All right, so we're getting a little low, right? Obviously, Aphelios wasn't the best holder, but I'm, I don't really care. I'm just going for this 4 1 spike. I have like decent amount of gold to work with, decent amount of components. Um, I oh here I put Aphelios and Yone in my um, team planner because I still need to get one round of them in for the cash out because I still have one round until Hearthstone cash out. So it's not just Ardy and Blitz I'm looking for. Okay, I found Blitz naturally. Um, would I have taken this Akali? No, I could. Right, okay, Kane serves the same purpose. Um, don't find Ari. Holding TF for the pivot if I have to, right? If I if I have no choice and I have to play TF, which I do not want to do, um, I mean, I'll do it begrudgingly. Uh, okay, make that tier. I should have um put an item on Kane here. So I want, uh, okay. Ideally, I want to I want to make um step past hard actually on blitz, but the issue is I don't want to sell any of these TFs in case I'm playing TF right because I need to make an item, and I don't want to sell Lilia because I need six Sentinel right so I need to make an item and like sell a unit, make an item and put it on blitz, but I can't and I don't want to gr super greed this round so I just make these clothes on Lord, um, which I guess is fine, right? So I, I I would say I missed my roll down which is like whatever. Um, take another loss. Alright. But I'm rolling to zero every turn. Either, like, if it's not Blitz, not Ari, like, Sentinel, like, any of the three costs, like, Echo or Mord, but realistically Mord, because, um, everyone picks up the Echo. So it's not like you're gonna get the Headliner. So. 
Uh, I was I was really tempted to take what the forge here. Honestly, I should have just taken what the forge. Like, come on, like let's play for fun a little bit. I should have just taken what for what the forge, because I have so many items, right? I should have just taken what the forge. But I was thinking, all right, maybe I can get something better. Like, like I, I'm prioritizing less what the forge. But now then I see new recruit. Because then if I get like a headliner um, Ari or whatever, I can just duplicate Blitz and vice versa, right? And then go for the go for a better cap out. But that's not that's not that's no fun. And if I want to settle, I would take that poppy in my shop. But I eventually just roll, man. What do you what do you? Alright, <laughs> I'm holding Jin here in case I get a Jin too. I give up on TF. I finally find Ari. Um Honestly I could have kept Jin. Not really. No, I don't have items for him. And I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy. Um I'm trying to put KDA, trying to dupe the dupe the uh, blitz. I should have I should have put uh, Ari <laughs> and uh the left side and KDA hexes, but I was like just just dizzy. Um Yeah. I mean, um, this is like the spot I want to be at. Eventually, I get like a fifth, but because like um, people are too strong, I'm a little bit too low. But this is the entire um, thought process behind the streaking, right? I'm not going to show the rest of the game because we're basically right. I just go for blue ball for carousel tank items, whatever, right? I mean, this is like my end game board. Um, I eventually get a KDA spat on Blitz. And then, like, I'm pretty strong, but I'm just 1 HP, right? Like, I didn't hit much at the 4 1 rolldown, so it is what it is. And I maybe I could manage by econ a little bit better, but right. Um, I get a fifth series, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is, this is basically the generic blueprint for loose streaking, right? To summarize, it's, um, I mean, not loose streaking, open forwarding, which is the same thing. So, like, don't have units, don't play the game, Sage 2, make Ecom whenever you can, go for Spat whenever you can, um, unless you're playing Ari, but even then you can make something, um, um, because tree damage is broken, and then Stage 3, you want to stabilize and minimize loss, so you take whatever you can to, like, uh, like a 2 cost or 3 cost headliner to save HP or even win, and then you really want to spike 4-1 or 4-2, but most of the time 4-1 if you have enough gold, right? I would say like 30 gold to roll, but if you don't have around that, if you have like 15, we're not leveling at 4-1, like we're leveling at 4-2 instead. And then um, a lot of times, um, if you hit, you basically guarantee top 4 because then you're going to be way stronger than everyone else stage 4. Um, I mean, occasionally you'll, you'll miss everything and get an 8th. It happens, it's TFT. But um, the cab out is really high because your items are so good. And uh, the carries this set are really reliant on good items. But yeah, this is the this is loose streak. I mean, open fork guide. I uh, hope you guys learned a lot. Drop a like, sub, join my Discord if you can. And happy New Year's, guys. Bye-bye.